Hey, good morning. I thought I'd look at the news real quick with you guys because since I missed it yesterday, boy, I just don't realize these appointments that come up so quickly. So let's get into the news real quick. But you know that they show and they've built everything according to their ways and that's how you see all the same numbers everywhere, right? The 1 and the 3, the 13, and just everything else. So, sure, Finland is offering care for those wounded in the war. Let's get just right into it. Ukraine says almost 6,000 Russians have been killed in the first six days of their invasion. Wow, (laughs) they just love that six, right? And Ukraine's government says 9,200 Russian soldiers have died as invasion continues. 9,200. Well, yeah, there's, you can look at it a few ways again, but yeah, but anyhow, we saw that our president visited your president there in America. Look at that. Let's just listen to Fox News because that just looks so cozy right there in front of the fire. Yeah. So let's go into Fox News and just hear a little what they have to say there as he's wearing his orange tie, shall we? President of Finland, Sauli Niinistö. Mr. President, thank you for the time. Thank you. You share a long border with Russia. If you look at the map, you could draw almost a perfect uh, triangle to Moscow, Kiev, and Helsinki. I just find that funny. I'm going to stop it right there. You can form a triangle right there. Yeah. I mean, you can do that with any places. I mean, come on. But what triangle might he be talking about? Maybe that one right there? Yeah, yeah. But okay, one last second, and then we'll get on to the other things. What could have imagined that in Europe, in 2020, something like this would happen? Meeting today with President Biden in the Oval Office. How did you take that meeting, and what did you take away from it? We discussed uh, quite a lot, not only uh, of the current situation in, uh, in Ukraine, We talked also about Russia, about China, but uh, also from the Nordic countries and uh, how do we take this. Do you want to join NATO now? Uh, Well, we have a changed situation in uh, both in uh, Finland and Sweden. For the first time we see that majority of people are pro uh, according to the polls. So yeah, polls are showing that most want to join the NATO now, but really are things really different i mean when you look at this i just happen to see this on uh youtube he's standing there with all the chivalry right just take a look so i couldn't find any others except for looking up his name and all the awards that he has received you can find it very easily as well here are just a few and they're all quite recent 2007 and onwards but really they look exactly the same as our president has right here the seraphim what i did on in this video the order of chivalry and just looking at all these awards they've all received like the white rose look we've seen them all on many other people yeah yeah soon to be kings princes whatever you want to call them it, they're all wearing the exact same thing so we know exactly who they are. They're a part of the same big brotherhood. Uh, But we'll get back to that in a minute. But of course, Sweden and Finland prime ministers are talking with each other because now they're really considering joining the NATO. Finland Finland buying Israel air defense weapons. Hmm, That's interesting too. And over 66,000 Ukrainian men have returned from abroad to fight. But it's well beyond that number, but that's the number they chose, 66, once again. (laughs) Then here they're talking about, of course, iodine tablets being just sold off the shelves. Notice there's also a 13 there, 130 milligram. Hmm. (sighs) Look, all I know is if something were to explode... um, It doesn't matter how much iodine you take. There's only a matter of time that you will survive. And then in today's news, they're talking about those that took this um, scoop, swine scoop, years ago, and they had narcolepsy. They're just going into the courts right now. I'm, you know, we've already know all that there is about the scoop, so I don't need to say more, but. All of this talk of war, of course, 
They're showing the elderly, discussing all that they know and, and the pain and the hurt that it's even just thinking of the olden days of what happened in the war with Russia. Yeah, even Sauli Ninister said, we won that war. We held our ground. It was a winter war. It's called the Stalvisota, winter war. It lasted for what? Three months. Three months. And it ended on the 13th of March. I mean, after seeing and understanding more about all these numbers that they love, it just, it brings a new light into this. 105 days long. So there's your 15. Once again, they love those numbers. And unfortunately, many people had to die for this. And in my opinion, it's all, it was, it didn't have to happen. They love all those numbers. Once again, I keep saying, you'll see those same exact numbers everywhere. And my grandfather was in that war and had uh, an arm that was damaged due to a bullet going through it. But anyway, I don't trust any of them with their passports and their things that they're saying that it's hard to even get a time to get your passport now. It's going to take weeks, probably soon months, because everybody wants to make sure their passport is renewed. Some 250 adults, 138 minors in Finland did not have a valid passport. And when you add those numbers together, again, it equals 19. I'm just saying, I'm just looking at things like this. Who attacks on, mentions attacks on the health department there in Kiev? And again, six injured, uh, sorry, six dead, 11 injured. Six, 11, 11, 9, yeah, okay. And now Estonia Prime Minister is promising lightning quick ratification if Finland joins the NATO. Lightning, really? I mean, we know about lightning. So they've mentioned triangles, lightning, and then they show a picture right here quickly. I tried to catch it. It was on live TV. I don't know if I'll be able to find it for you, but there you can clearly see (laughs) why they wanted to show that. And we know that is not the Jesus that we speak of. This is some other form. That is the Catholic way. And we know exactly what that's aligned to. This picture here also shows you exactly who he is aligned to, Mr. Zelensky. And he's wearing that cross proudly. Most times he'll have a jacket on top to cover it, or maybe it's all green. But that is the Maltese cross or the white rose, whatever you want to call it. They're all aligned with each other. And even the red cross, yes, the Punaneristi, that is a part of the same brotherhood. And they've received how much? 10 million euros right now to support Ukraine just unbelievable. Look, they're all in the brotherhood, whether you want to call it the WHO, the UN, UNICEF, IMF. You can find all the affiliates of the UN or the WHO online. It's very easy, but they're all a part of the same family, that same brotherhood, whether you call it uh, Rotary, whatever, Elk. There's so many names, but they're all in the same brotherhood. And yeah, I got a strike, by the way. I hope this is not going past my time. I started another channel. I'll add a video soon and give you guys the link below. Yeah, and I added the video in um, in BitChute, in case you're wanting to see it. It was the propaganda one. I guess they didn't want me saying that word. <laughs> so, my goodness. So, here we go again. More strikes. So there are my channels, and I'm going to be on channel four for a while now because I won't get that strike taken off till the end of the month. An older strike, sorry. So I'm up to two strikes. Oh, Anyway, God bless you guys. Take care. We'll see if I get one more. If not, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.